Hello. In this video, we are going to take our entry widget and we're going to bind a key to it. What that means is that when I'm inside the entry widget, I'm going to be able to press enter or any key um, that I choose. And what it will do is it will run some little piece of code in a function. Um, for the sake of it doing something interesting, what we'll do is we'll take the content of the entry box and we'll clear it out. So I have as a starting place here, just a, my entry box, which is right here. GUI entry with return. And this is, remember, we simply import TK enter, which is the toolbox that contains all of the, the, the various tools to create these programs. We create our main window. We set our title of the main window. We then create an entry widget. We pack that entry widget into the, the main window, which I call root. And then I set my loop up. So what I'm gonna do is between creating the entry widget and packing the entry widget, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to come in here, as soon as I can type, a little delay here, and I'm going to say entry dot, entry one dot bind. So bind is a function that allows me to, to choose a key and a function. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind the return key to a function I will call on return. Now, I have an error here because I haven't actually written written the function on return. So I'm going to come up here to the top and I'm going to say def on return. And for now, I'm going to put this here and I'll explain what this is in a second, but let's start by putting star args to start. And all we're going to do is print return, keep clicking a button with my finger, return pressed. And so now what's going to happen is I've essentially taken this entry widget and I've bound this function. So if I run this, here it is. If I press enter right now, nothing happens because I haven't gone into the widget. But the minute I go into the widget and write test, or I just press enter now, return pressed. Notice the difference there. If I am not inside this, if I haven't actually selected this widget, the return key doesn't work. Um, so let's actually clean this up a little bit and do some best practices. All right, so the first thing is let's, let's just make sure we remember where this has to be positioned. For now, we're going to make sure that all our functions are at the top of our program. Really, the key thing is, is you don't want to put it below your binding function because then Python doesn't know where it is. So if I put it there, I'll actually get an error because it won't know the function because it's below there. So let's put this back up here. The second thing is you'll see the star args a lot as you look around. This is essentially what's called a wildcard argument, um, meaning, um, meaning it's telling the program that anything could be sent to this function. All right, so what does that mean to us? Um, it just basically allows us to, to set this up and not really understand that when you bind a function to an entry, it actually is passing some information to it. I just like to do this, I just like to write event in there because essentially what happens is when I press return, a whole bunch of information is being passed into the on return about the event. It's generally considered not good practice to use wildcard parameters, but for now it's okay if, if, if that allows your program to work. All right, so now let's actually do something with this entry. So if I come down here and I say entry one, um, I have this nice function called delete, and I can delete a section of this function. So if I say delete zero comma end, so what does that do? Well, what this does is it will delete everything in the entry one from the zeroth index, that is essentially the first letter, to the very end of the string. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I run this now, I pull this in here and I say, hello, and I press enter, it disappears. This is how we actually access and manipulate the information inside the entry box. We use the object name, which is entry one, and then we call an appropriate function. There are lots of them here. I could do something like this. I could do, I could actually access part of it. So to get the information, what I do is I say entry one, dot get 
And what that this function does is it takes the entry one widget and it gets the string that's inside there. Now, I might want to do something with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say value equals entry one dot get, and then let's just print out the value to the screen. So if I run this now, I can say hello, enter, hello. Oh, you can't see that because it's off the screen. There we go. Hello, enter. And notice down here, hello. Fish, enter, fish. Dog, enter, dog. So now I can get information and I can then process it however I want to do that. Now let's just wrap up this video with, let's bind it to a different key. Um, you can find all the different keys that you can bind it to by going online, but I could bind it to the letter F if I wanted. So if I run this, now I come in here and I hit the letter. If I type in the and I press F, notice that it's now cleared it. Did you see the problem with that design though? <laughs> when I press F, it actually accesses the information but continues to type in there. So it's a safe bet to bind your entry fields to the enter. I hope that helped.